with Gamma 2017 with the Dice Tower in Las Vegas. We, I know, exciting. We <laughs> so we're, I know, that was great. Thank you for that. <laughs> so we're here with Greenbrier Games and look at some crazy rah, zombie stuff. I'm excited. Not another zombie game. But it's going to be awesome, right? It is. It's because it's because it is awesome. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you Thanks for being here. <laughs> and uh, let's dive right in. I just like to get right to it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So this is our revision Zpoc two, our reboot. So we our it's first one came out in two thousand eleven. Mm -hmm. um, we loved it. It was our baby. This is the revision based on what our fans really liked and gave us feedback about and what they thought could be better. So. You're still in the world of uh, the zombie apocalypse. In the first game, you were in the city. Now you're out in the suburbs. So you've Ooh. made your way out. Um, some of the characters are made it from the urban, and some okay. are new and uh, have been in the suburbs a little bit more sheltered. Um, and what you're doing is you're new spending characters. your you're using your survivors as a resource. Okay. So you have a squad, everybody else has a squad, you manage your team. So this is one setup for one player? Correct. Okay. And you, so your stats are tracked here for <gasps> each of the survivors. Can I just say, yeah. this is wonderful. Isn't it? No, I'm serious. Makes it so much easier. Well, I'm not making mistakes, hitting it, oh, I don't right. know what it is. It's a night. Anyway, I just have to say that detail is Thank you. well Thank noticed. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, we try. <laughs> so you... Um, there's a day phase and a night phase. Mm -hmm. Day is your building your community. So you uh, go out and scavenge, find food and supplies, find more people, try to recruit them. So I'm going to um, pull these down a bit because I think these might be off screen oh, a touch. No. That's okay. So okay. food or those ones, supplies, and during your Q&A you can even pull those up a bit Absolutely. closer. Um, and of course, additional weapons. Okay. Uh, thematic because you're in the suburbs, so you know you have things like golf clubs. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that makes um, sense. <laughs> makes, a, makes a really good weapon. Uh, so you're doing that during the day. You're scavenging. You're building up your uh, defenses, crafting. Um, there's different objectives for each chapter. So for the first one, for example, you're trying to rebuild the truck so that you can travel out further and try to find more people, survivors. Um, so you're using those skills. Um, and each of the survivors has different level of abilities and the different skills. So that's the ones listed here. The stats yeah. on the bottom. Okay, right. perfect. Um, so you're doing things like that during the day, and you're doing things like guarding your base, which mitigates how many zombies accumulate, right. or at least trying to. <laughs> um, at nighttime, it's your combat phase. Combat mm -hmm. is uh, partly determined by the scenario, partly determined by how many zombies you attracted when you were out in the world. Right. Um, and then during combat, you are rolling the dice. Uh, and what you can do is, and this is something that was a little bit different, mm -hmm. you're adding up the dice to spend. So you can move four, mm -hmm. and then this golf club costs six to hit. Okay. Is so that, that blood splatter? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, actually, they're well, bullets. Oh, they're bullets. Okay. Bullets. <laughs> um, or bullet holes, as it were. <laughs> um, so... You're doing that, and you're trying to achieve a goal while never getting accumulating a mass, or overwhelming mass of zombies. Right. Um, now, there's some other cool little things, like if you get hit, you can have different kinds of wounds um, that can hurt you. Mm -hmm. um, but also, you can uh, level up, and your leveling up can be skills and training, but it also can be mutations. So um, you're getting kind of superpowers. Sometimes they're at a deficit, but then also the zombies can mutate and they become more powerful as well. Oh, so it's good for you and not so good for you at the same time. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> and so these are the ones that come out. I'm, I'm assuming these are different. Are these players yep. or? So these, yep, this is your squad. Okay. These are fresh zombies and these are slightly older zombies. So they're easy to kill. These are harder to kill. And of course, he's the hardest. And so you have your stats that you can you can use Countdown. them to, to figure that out. Oh, fantastic. And I noticed you have some other colored dice here. Yes. So these are. this is if you have ammo. Okay. So you're rolling to see if you run out. And, of course, if you need to resolve any sort of uh, one-offs, you use those so that you're not getting confused with your action dice. Okay. So this game, it plays, what's the player count? The two to five players. Okay. How long does it play? Uh, the scenarios kind of vary, but about two hours. If you're just, combat is about 20 minutes, and then it depends, it really does depend on how co-op you choose to be okay. or not. I was just about to ask you that. <laughs> so if you're being really like, almost like a campaign and you're all working together to right. 
rebuild the truck, you might all find the p components and pull them all together in a community cache and you're doing great. If not, maybe it takes a little longer or maybe some people die off. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. You know? <laughs> it's zombies. Of course that could happen. Right. <laughs> I notice you have some other little tokens. Yep. So these are some of the things that you can build. So you have like a lookout tower mm -hmm. that you can put in place or a sand trap. So these are going to, when the zombies come at night at combat, they're going to mitigate the attack. Uh, okay, so that's when we're going to have to do some rolling, I'm assuming. Yes. And are, can the board be increased in size? Like Absolutely. Okay. So we have, the board is extendable and it's also double-sided, so that oh, you have different, different scenarios and different um, things that you can do with them. And then the way they're maneuvered, like, does that make a difference, like, if it's sitting here, here? Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay, so it will affect the gameplay mm -hmm. slightly. Oh, that's fantastic. So, and the, there's four storylines in the core game that are basically geared towards a storyline of trying to go and explore the world and try to find other people. Whether you find them or not, and whether finding them is a good thing or not. That's another story. You have to, you have to find out for yourself. <laughs> and expansions or? Yes, the Wasteland expansion is right. also, uh, so that will, more, more maps, more stories, um, and uh, more uh, extremes of the goods and the bats. So, this um, is of Dreams and Shadows. Mm -hmm. Now, the designer for this, he um, he cut his teeth on MMOs and play testing them. Okay. So it definitely you can tell it has that kind of a feel to it. You are an adventurer on a quest, and so each player picks a hero to play, mm -hmm. and um, so their hero has a backstory, lots of flavor, uh, lots of development of of the world or world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. World building. And. Broad strokes, there's two acts. The first, and each one has five rounds, mm -hmm. or potentially five rounds. Okay. Um, in those, in the first act, you are questing. Okay. You have to choose whether you're doing things to build up your character or uh, mitigate the things that he has set out. Okay. So it is much like you're, you're traveling the land, having adventures to build up your abilities to then, during act two, actually take on the big boss. So definitely, you want to definitely get this... The yes. ability is up to as high as Absolutely. possible. So there are a number of different things that you can do to make that happen. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, there's a number of things that he can do to try to defeat you. So these ones here. Yeah. Just to give. And each one, and the first act, lots of flavor, lots of storyline, a lot of immersion into the into the world. And then in the second part, um, it is is going for the jugular. Which I, I like that though, right. but it's like a build up. Right. So in addition to being able to say, you know, you're, you're, you're getting your uh, experience, but you can also do things like take on harder challenges to, if you fail, that's terrible, but if you mm -hmm. actually get the reward, it weakens his, his abilities when you get to the final fight. So you are trying to determine, um, what your approach is to taking on the big boss in the And end. depending on your approach will kind of change the variability, like the, right. the end scenario? Okay, that's I was worried it would be the... No, no, and yeah. then and of course each of the characters not only having their own storyline, but also having their own stats, having a very different feel for each player. So there's 10 of these, there's three bosses, and it's, uh, it's beautiful. It is, it's, very nice. And it's very immersive in the world of it. Fantastic. And so when is Dreams, Shadows, Dreams and Shadows available? Um, Dr of Dreams and Shadows is available as soon as so we had some um, the rule book the font was very very small uh, okay so we are reprinting and repackaging it so as soon as they are repackaged it will be available because it's already here and waiting oh is it yeah <laughs> okay so it's coming it's coming and quickly running the line age time how does this play um, so this is uh, the acts are depending on how fast you go, so it can be up to 150 minutes, two to six players, and it is uh, 14 plus. It is, it's for grown-ups. It's for grown-ups. It's for grown-ups. <laughs> the characters are, are grown-up characters. Perfect. Thank you so much. This is a, a beautiful stuff that you're showing us. Uh, if you have more questions, get them in the Q&A. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next Thanks. time. Bye.